Hey guys, so how's it going? It is St. Patrick's Day, if you can't really tell. Um, just starting off my day. It is probably 10, 10.30. And uh, there is a big parade going on. With, in Minneapolis, there's one, and in St. Paul, there's also one. So I'm going to try and hit up one of those. Um, the St. Paul one is looking less and less likely because that goes on at noon. And the Minneapolis one starts at 6.30, I believe. Um, but down here with the uh, big Irish population, it's it's nuts. I love it. I came down here last year, and uh, I had a blast. So, And since I am a quarter Irish, I may as well. But So I need to do a little bit of shopping beforehand. I need to run to Target, get myself... Uh, some Diet Coke and stuff like that and some other miscellaneous stuff for the apartment still and then I need to run to the liquor store because I have whiskey but I don't have Irish whiskey so I need to fix that and uh, yeah until then hopefully today goes well and uh, hopefully I remember today hey guys so like I said before I was gonna go to Target, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm actually walking there because it's only a couple blocks away. But let's let's just take a minute and look at the day. It is March 17th. I am in Minneapolis, Minnesota. There is no snow on the ground. Normally, uh, there's still probably a good six inches of snow everywhere. So. I don't know what's going on this year. I love it. I'm not really complaining. Last year, I know around St. Patrick's Day, or on St. Patrick's Day, when we came down here, I was here in sweatpants. Because I was like the only pair of green pants that I had. And, you know, I was comfortable then. But I also had a long sleeve shirt on, and that was, that all worked. But now I'm in, granted I'm in two t-shirts, but it's because this white one's so thin, so I put a green one on underneath it. And I have, I've got green shorts on. And you know what, it's great. Like there's geese in the lake here. Granted, also, just so you guys know, this is the first time I'm walking this. So I'm not 100% sure where I'm heading. I hope this leads me to Target. I was told that it was should, so. Um, yeah, like it's, I love this part of town. I didn't know that there was a park over there either, so. There's, and there's a volleyball net and a basketball court. There's a tennis court further back there. I love where I live right now. It is so much better than where I was before. And it is also way better than Duluth. Like, most of the time, unless you're downtown Duluth, you can't really walk anywhere. There, everything is just it's too far away. But here, my apartment is probably a block or so that way, and I'm walking to Target. Then I'll be walking to the liquor store. So, I basically, I love the weather. I love the fact that I can walk outside in shorts, and it's mid-March, so. Here's something new, too, that I never saw. It's a water park right behind me, which I guess, I mean, I've seen before, but... I haven't really taken a good hard look at it. But it looks like it'd be pretty sweet. I unfortunately nothing's running right now, so I can't really tell and get the full effect of it, but whatever. And this, which I've driven by this place multiple times going to and from Target, all that other stuff. There's a skate park here. That's pretty cool. Like I, like I said, I've never seen it, and it's right next to the road. I've been, like I said, I've been on this road before. But I've never seen this, so. Oh well. And uh, I don't know if that way was any shorter or longer than normal. Ah, sweet. And yeah, that sign says sidewalk close, so I was trying to figure out if it actually was. Um, I don't know if that trail that I took was actually any shorter or longer than just walking the road, but I like it better. 
looks it's a lot more fun so hey guys how's it going um heading downtown right now to actually go take part in a lot of the st patrick's day festivities uh, i know that they have a parade going on at six six or six thirty i'm not exactly sure um so i'm thinking about hitting that up um and from there i'm actually well probably not even from there i'm probably going to sit at one of the bars down there and uh drink for a little bit until the uh, parade actually starts. It's about 5 o'clock right now. Um, to be honest, it's not been the exact uh, St. Patrick's Day that I've expected. Like, I dressed up, as you can see still, I'm still in the exact same thing I was wearing earlier, and uh, I haven't done anything. I've sat at home and watched uh, How I Met Your Mother. But... I don't know if that's been because I haven't gotten any texts back because I've sent a few texts out asking what people were up to and only one person has texted me back saying that they weren't going to be able to come out tonight just because of financial issues which you know I completely understand I've been dealing with that a lot myself but since I've gotten my new job that has been a lot better um, but as for everyone else, like all of my friends from work, I have not gotten any response back. Which is kind of upsetting, but here once, let me close up my windows. It's kind of upsetting, but you know, I completely understand that too. Um, so like I said, I'm actually heading out to uh, uh, downtown Minneapolis because that is where everyone is going to be even though i know st paul actually has a bigger uh parade than minneapolis because i haven't seen any minneapolis or anything about minneapolis and i was actually in the st paul one last year and you know what there's a sign coming up that is you know that's it's pretty I'm glad uh, you don't see that a whole lot in Duluth where I'm from but you know if uh, I'm not gonna be dumb about this whole thing I am driving downtown right now uh, but if I am too drunk obviously I'm gonna just go catch a bus because thankfully Minneapolis has uh, the mini the metro transit the bus company that they have has um, free bus rides tonight from midnight until the last run okay i'm recording more so you know how i said i'm i'm going down to a place where i or right by where i work that's where i work that's where i'm going right there hey guys so I'm just walking home from, or walking to my car from everything that's gone on tonight. My ears hurt, my voice hurts. There was a lot of people out, so I, um, I don't know, Christ, I don't know exactly what I can say. Like, it's, oh my God, I'm going to We'll just say I'm going to sleep well tonight. I've got this guy going on, which is a uh, St. Patrick's Day um, Bud Light can. I also got, I, th I believe I have one of these at home already, but I'm not exactly sure. I've got a uh, Sneaky Pete's t-shirt that was thrown in my general direction from some of the bartenders. Um... Oh my god. Let's just say I was at Sneaky Pete's for probably way too long. Like I said, my ears hurt. My voice hurts. I I had a lot of fun there. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, there was a bunch of guys 
that we're sitting there and going, or I was having some fun with because some of them were like on the strip of poles and uh, I ended up going out on them a few times. But <clears throat> uh, I actually also, here was the thing that really caught my attention is right at the end, I saw, I ended up kind of meeting up with a friend of mine. He uh, was in Sneaky Pete's and uh, right as I was about to leave, like I was still kind of dancing and whatnot, but all of a sudden I look over and there he is. He walks up to me and is like, hey man, how's it going? And I'm like, oh my God, like I haven't seen you for a while. And I was just like, where's Chad? Because I, f I guess I kind of figured that Chad was gonna be in town too, but um, apparently that wasn't the case. But, oh my God. I hurt, like I said. I am exhausted. I'm I'm putting down these windows. I don't care. It is still probably like 75 degrees out and it is uh almost one o'clock in the morning so I'm gonna go home. I'm still sitting in the parking garage. Uh, like I said, I didn't think I was gonna be able to uh, record anything while I was out, but I uh, went to uh, one bar before I went to the parade, then I walked to the parade with, actually with one of the guys that I ended up meeting at the bar, and uh, then I was going to go to one of the Irish pubs, but the Irish, that place was just nuts. There was probably a good 20 minute wait to get in there, so I'm like, you know what, screw that. And I ended up going to Sneaky Pete's because that was a place that I knew I wanted to go. I wanted to stay there till close, but it's just gotten to the point where I am way too exhausted. Like I said, you can kind of tell, you can tell from my voice that my voice just doesn't work as well as it used to. And uh, my hearing is quite a bit impaired, so. Uh, I spent probably more than my fair share of money to help tonight. Hey guys, so it is the day after St. Patrick's Day. Um, the weird thing is I woke up at like 7.30. I didn't get home until like 2. So I don't know what exactly happened, but I don't know. I was, I was up early and I posted that on Facebook and apparently there's like quite a few people who also run into the same issue where they get up really early um, but uh, today was great like besides kind of the upset stomach from the hangover but uh, today was it's been a pretty much a normal lazy Sunday and it's been something that I tend to like I like my Sundays kind of being lazy kind of recovering, especially if I go out on Saturday. But, uh, so I woke up, did some stuff, I did some laundry, uh, which I actually had just finished putting away, uh, sat down, was watching some How I Met Your Mother, decided I wanted to actually make something out of my day, so <clears throat> then I went, I walked over to LA Fitness, which is just like two blocks down the road, and uh, worked out haven't done that in a while, like half a month. I need to get back into doing that. And I also went and scheduled a an appointment with my personal trainer. So uh, in order to do all of this. And uh, then I jogged back here. Um, and pretty much I've just been bumming around. But I know I've said this a lot of times on a lot of vlogs that I've recorded I haven't exactly posted because I just haven't had the content to actually make a vlog out of it but it is unbearable not bearable unbearably it is ungodly hot it is like six o'clock almost seven it is almost seven o'clock in Minneapolis and it is almost 80 degrees it is March 
18th. Uh-huh. So it's... I am... I had the door open all day, which was great. I love being able to get the fresh air in and out. But it has gotten to the point where I actually had to go and turn on my air conditioner. And, uh, I mean, it's set for 70. And, uh, like, right now, I, I, it's feeling a lot better in here. The thermostat, I think, says 75. But it's, I'm like, I actually have to turn on my air conditioner. And I was sitting around shirtless all day. And I was still kind of, like, I am still have some sweat going. And I'm like, this is nuts. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch some more How I Met Your Mother. I'm going to drink this Jameson and Coke because I bought it in or knowing that it was going to be for St. Patrick's Day. And I did. I had a couple couple uh, glasses of this before I went out. Even went to out yesterday. I had a lot to drink yesterday. I just thought of it because every time I've counted, I haven't counted these. So, let's just go with it. Um, so I had two Jameson and Cokes. I had, and then I went downtown and I had two pints of green beer. Um, and then I had the, uh, a, one of the aluminum bottles of Bud Light, which I actually kept. It's up there. Um, and then I had, hmm. I'm missing. Oh, and then I had a Yag bomb, and then I had five more drinks, or five more uh, Bud Lights when I was at Sneaky Pete's, for a total of eleven drinks. Granted, these were uh, the Jameson and Cokes were done at like one and three or something like that. Like they were slow. I drank them slowly and. Uh, they were quite a bit separated from everything else. So, the night consisted of nine drinks, and but the whole day was 11. And, uh, all in all, like, it was, it was a fun night. So, I'm going to continue watching How I Met Your Mother. I might make myself some food and a drink, and I'm going to call it a night. So, I will talk to you whenever that is.